her next steps, and I'm like, I don't know, I mean, it's a shelter, and, but I really didn't have any option aside from living in my truck, and I lived in my truck for a couple of months before. That meant sleeping in my truck too, so that was pretty horrifying. And uh, uh, I just came to the decision that uh, uh, this was the best choice for me. It strikes me, uh, and I'm, I'm feeding off of your experience, that if you're homeless and on your own most of the time, all you're getting reflected back, if at all, is yourself. You know, the comment is always, if you're isolated and you're alone and you're about to use, I mean, get out because you're in the room with a crazy person. You know, my roommate has been fantastic. My roommates, I should say, because been one. You know, people here like Mike, Vic, uh, the other uh, uh, workers that are here are always a, a fantastic voice and a place to bounce some things off of. And people are sensitive to how you're feeling and we have vulnerable, intimate conversations and that just helped rebuild me as a person. Is it often the case that when somebody arrives here you discover that the issues and the complexities are far deeper and more... Uh, Absolutely. Absolutely. We call it the onion process here that people have layers of issues and uh, in, the inter in the intake interview sometimes, you know, we're, we're only talking about uh, the first set of issues that somebody might be aware of. What are the chances of dealing with mental health issues and substance abuse, abuse issues when they're homeless? Well, I, I mean, I don't know exactly, but I would say not very good, mm -hmm. um, just because you'd be so busy trying to survive on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, food, shelter, whatever you can kind of scrounge together, that that other stuff tends to just, by necessity, be pushed to the side. I look at the hierarchy of needs uh, as you know, how we have to live our life, and if I don't have shelter and I don't have uh, some basic nutrition, I'm not going to be able to work on getting myself better. So next steps fills that that primary function for me. What do you think your success rate is? I think we're at about eighty percent. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely very high, mm -hmm. and the people coming back is is so low. Mm -hmm. Coming back into the shelter system. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have an idea like how many? beds might be needed, like how many facilities like Next Steps would adequately address some of the issues we're talking about? Oh, it's hard, it's hard to say, but you know, uh, uh, for the people in recovery, you could, you could have at least a, another two, three houses easily in Victoria. Not mm -hmm. a problem. And there would be plenty of people who would benefit from... Plenty of people.